Today is Juneteenth, a day to celebrate the end of slavery across the United States of America. It's also a day where we can sit back and recognize our own black culture right here in our own community. So we're outside of Harrison House today. We've got Katie here joining us, the executive director of Harrison House. Go ahead and break it down where we're at the, uh, today. Right now, we're at the Harrison House. We're located at the corner of F and Adams on the historic west side. The Harrison House was a place, a, a home for famous entertainers who were working on the Las Vegas Strip in downtown, but they were not allowed to stay there because of segregation. So Harrison House is a typical boarding house from the segregation era of Las Vegas. Now, I want to break down more about where we're at uh, today, and if we can spin the camera around to that historic West Side Bridge over there. Go ahead and tell people the significance of that. So prior to the 1960s, if you were black or if you were not white, you would not be welcome or tolerated on that side of the bridge. Las Vegas, like the rest of the country, was segregated by racial makeup. So the black people were relegated to this neighborhood, the white people on that side of the street, and then the Paiutes are over there by the palm trees. Now talk about Pioneer Trail, because this uh, runs right through the historic west side. What is that? Absolutely. The best way to see the west side is by taking the Pioneer Trail. It's an official tour of the city of Las Vegas in Clark County. There are 16 markers scattered throughout the valley, throughout the city, and they talk about the earliest gathering places for different groups of people. It talks about the Springs Preserve, the Mormon Fort. So we have the Mormon settlement, the Korean settlement, the Paiute settlement, all the different cultural groups that have settled this valley that have a marker attributed to them along this trail. We're number eight on the trail because we were the gathering place for the famous entertainers who would uh, live on, on this side of town but work on the Las Vegas Strip. Amazing to think you could work out there but not even lay your head to sleep Absolutely. again. Absolutely. Uh, now we want to dive into a little more of what you're trying to do to uh, get to the west side where it needs to be. Now this is a $14,000 check from Anthem Blue Cross Blue Shield. Tell everyone what this is for. So one of the challenges we have in this community is with communication sustainability. So Harrison House is supposed to educate us on green technology. And one of the areas that we're deficient is in uh, the broadband, Wi-Fi. Um, most of our students don't have internet connectivity. And especially now more than ever in a time of coronavirus when folks had to go and work from home, you know, you really had to rely on that Wi-Fi. And you can see some of it uh, has already been installed. You can see that's a good example on top of the rooftop there. This is what you're hoping to get scattered across the west side, yes, right? Yes, we want to get an antenna on top of every church. This is an interfaith initiative. The signals will make the whole west side a hot spot, and anyone who wants internet on the west side can have it for free. Lovely thing, and this is one of the most underserved communities when it comes to technological advances here, right here on the west side. So we need to be thinking about the kids, the Wi-Fi, getting everyone where they need to be. Again, as uh, construction continues to happen on Harrison House, you do have the option to donate. You can go ahead and head to fox5vegas.com. There's a web story posted with links on how you can help out with Harrison House, or if you want to contribute to add to this $14,000 to get Wi-Fi across the west side. I'll go ahead and send it back to the studio.